All right, now Gemini is a great AI assistant from Google and Gemini Live is a feature that enables users to have natural, free-flowing, spoken conversations with Gemini AI assistant. But this feature did not have any app integration like the default Gemini assistant. When we open Gemini and ask Gemini to set a reminder or an event, it could do that on Samsung applications on the Galaxy phones. And if you're on any other phones, you might be able to do that as well. So there is Samsung Notes, Calendar, and Reminder integration on the Gemini application. However, when it comes to Gemini Live, we did not have that integration. There was no app integration at all. And now Google has released support for multiple Google applications on Gemini Live. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. But before we go ahead, if you're interested in this beautiful looking wallpaper on the home screen, it's available on Volvo's app application. There are some beautiful looking wallpapers on the app. There are some amazing categories as well, collections as well. You can go ahead and check them out. The link for the application is in the description. Almost every day I keep adding uh, new wallpapers. So do check it out. You can download it from the link in the description. Now let's go ahead. Let me open Gemini application here. Now let me turn on Gemini Live and I'll show you which are the applications which are integrated now on Gemini Live. Primarily it's all Google applications, not Samsung applications. Samsung apps are integrated only on the regular Gemini uh, conversation, but not here on Gemini Live. So let's go ahead. I will just ask Gemini for a specific location. Let me tap on Live. How far is MG Road from my home? You can see the maps uh, is here in the pill. Would you like to know the best route to take? Yeah. How far is it? First you can tell me and then you can tell me the best route. MG Road is 12.7 kilometers from your home and it takes about 50 minutes. The best route is via 80 feet road. Even before we used to get this information, but probably uh, Gemini was fetching information from the web, but now it can fetch information from a Google Maps application on the device. Now the second Google app which is now integrated on Gemini Live is Google Keep. Google Keep is a free web-based and mobile note-taking service provided by Google and that app has now been integrated on Gemini Live. While talking to Gemini, we can ask Gemini to add some notes on Google Keep. Let's try this. Can you add a note? Sure. What would you like the note to say? The next video on the channel would be about Gemini. Here you go. You can I'm see that capsule. Let me undo this. Let me ask. Uh, the, let me ask Gemini to do this again, and you can see that capsule, uh, the Google Keep capsule, which will appear right here at the bottom. Let's try this again. Can you add a note? Would you like the note to say? Uh, I want to make the next video on Apex tomorrow, and uh, the video topic would be uh, about Gemini. I've created a note titled Video Plan Apex and Gemini. With the content, make the next video on Apex tomorrow. And the video topic would be about Gemini. You can see Google Keep icon was appearing right there. Now, by the way, I don't have Google Keep application installed on my phone yet, but it is adding this information on Google Keep on my Google account with which I have logged in on Gemini here. So what we'll do is let's go to Play Store and install Gemini and let's see if it has uh, added this note. Google Keep. You can see this is not installed yet. I'll install this application. Now let me open it and let's get started. There you go. You can see the note which I just asked Gemini Live to add is available right here and it shows Gemini. This note has been created on Gemini. Let me just tap on this. You can see make the next video on Apex tomorrow. The spelling is wrong, but anyways, uh, and the video topic would be about Gemini and it shows Gemini right here. Can I click this? Yeah, I can click that and I can view it. You can see it directly takes me to the application, uh, to the Gemini app, and it shows me the note right here. So there is a deep integration of Google Keep as well on Gemini Live. That's pretty good to see. I wish we had this integration on Samsung applications as well. Maybe in the future they will add it. Now let's talk about the next application, and that is Google Calendar. Let's go to Live. Can you add an event? I can help with that. What is the title? My wife's birthday. Happy early birthday to your wife. Today is her birthday. Tomorrow. It's of course not tomorrow, but you can see it shows the Google Calendar here and it's going to add that uh, birthday event created, it says. And if I want to undo it, I can do that right here. Now what I'll do is I'll just pause this. Uh, let's go to Calendar. So we've got Google Calendar here. And for tomorrow, the event has been created. 
So we can now create events on Gemini Live and we can also use Gemini Live to create some tasks or reminders. Let's do that now. Can you remind me to get some groceries tomorrow morning while coming back from the gym? Google tasks are showing. I think it already just created the task, but let's do this again. Can you create a reminder uh, to get groceries while coming back from the gym tomorrow? I already created that reminder for you. Fantastic. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with? Now, actually, I don't even have Google Tasks application installed on my phone. So what it's doing is it is adding the information on the web, not on the app on the phone. So which probably means it is fetching the uh, map related details also from the web or maybe from the application as well. But if we have the app on the phone, it might get directly linked. So what we'll do is now let's go back to the Play Store and let's download Google Tasks. Yeah, here we go. I don't have it on the device. It's now installed. Let me open it and I'll log in with the same account. As you can see, it is logged in. And now you can see the reminder that I just created is available right here. Get groceries while coming back from the gym, which is for Wednesday 13th, which is tomorrow. So that's how the applications are integrated on Gemini Live. And if you don't have the app, it will still fetch the information from the web-based applications. And currently, Google Maps, Tasks, Google Keep, and Google Calendar applications are integrated on Gemini Live, which is fantastic. And let's hope that Google is going to integrate some of the Samsung apps as well. If you go into uh, the regular conversation here, not on Gemini Live, if you just talk to Gemini, you can still add the events on uh, Google, Cal sorry, Samsung Calendar. Let me show you that. Can you add an event on Samsung Calendar? Sure. I can help with that. What is the title of the Samsung launch event tomorrow? What time is the Samsung launch event tomorrow? 10 a.m. There it is. You can see Samsung launch event to your Samsung. Samsung Calendar integration is already there on Gemini. And we also have Samsung Notes integration. And we also have Samsung Reminder integration. Let me show you that. Create a reminder to get milk from the store tomorrow at 11 a.m. I've created a reminder to get milk from the store tomorrow at Now, by default, it is creating this task on uh, Google Tasks. Now, let's ask Gemini to create a task on Samsung's Reminder application. Create a reminder on Samsung Reminder application. I want to get uh, some biscuits tomorrow at uh, 10 a.m. There it is. I got Samsung Create Reminder, reminder here. Reminder on Samsung Reminders to get some biscuits at 10 a.m. <laughs> that was a lame reminder, but uh, so you can see we have got Samsung Reminder integration as well as Google Task integration. If you don't mention specifically about Samsung Reminder, it will set the task on Google Tasks. And if you mention Samsung Reminder, it can uh, set it on Samsung Reminder. So we have got both integration here. And on Gemini Live, we only have the Google app integration, not Samsung uh, reminder, Samsung application integration. So that is what has happened with the Gemini Live feature now. Uh, you guys go ahead and try it out. It's anyways available for free. And uh, you can uh, ask Gemini Live to set reminders, create tasks, and uh, add notes on Google applications. This is something which I wanted you guys to know. Uh, that's all I have here in today's video. I hope you have already downloaded our wallpaper application Wallverse and I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you want to stay updated with everything that's happening around your phone, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.